Hello everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I have another doll clothing tutorial. In my Emily Q&A video, you all really seem to compliment and love Emily's top that she's wearing and all wanted a tutorial for it, so that's what I brought here for you today. The top is super simple to make and I'm also going to show a couple different ways you can modify this DIY to make some completely different cute looking tops as well. So to start, you're going to want to find some fabric for this project and it is important that the fabric does have some stretch to it because it is more of a tight fitted top. I measure a strip from the fabric that is about one and a half inches wide. And that is long enough to go around the doll's body with a bit of extra fabric left over. And then I cut that out. Now, depending on the type of fabric you have, you may need to hem over the raw edges. But this is something I love about this fabric is that it actually does not fray. So I'm not going to hem over the edges and it actually just makes everything a lot easier. So ideally, I'd recommend trying to find a fabric that you don't have to hem over. Now, taking a doll, I'm going to wrap the fabric around the doll with the bad side on the outside. I line up the edges in the back, pull tightly so the top is nice and snug, and mark where I'm going to sew. And now I'm going to sew down that line. I'm using a sewing machine, but of course you could also sew by hand. And once that's sewed, I just cut off any excess fabric. I flip it right side out and slide it onto the doll to see how it fits. And at this point, it's basically just a cute and simple tube top, but I like to take things a step further. I take some thread that is similar to the color of the top, and I use that to thread a needle. And I'm just going to hand sew a little scrunch part on her top, like you can see on the one Emily's wearing. I like to do this step while the top is on the doll, just so I can really see how it's gonna look. I just start by hiding the knot, so I'm going to poke it in the center here behind. And then from here, I'm just going to kind of sew in and out and pull it to start scrunching it up. And I go back and forth a few times so it'll actually stay in place. And once I'm happy with how that scrunch looks, I remove the top from the doll so I can make a knot to hold everything together on the inside. Once again, you could just leave the top at this stage as it is already super cute, but I do want to take this one more step further and make some little sleeves. So to make the sleeves, I'm using the same fabric and I'm going to cut a skinny long strip. And then I cut that in half to make two. And these should be able to go around your doll's arm with a little bit of excess. So like we did earlier with the top, I take that little piece of fabric and wrap it around the doll's arm, lining up the edges and marking where I'm going to sew it. And I repeat that on the other one as well. And then I'm just going to sew on those lines we just marked. Once I have both of those sewed, I cut off any excess fabric and flip them inside out. Then with the top on the doll, I mark underneath her armpit so I know where to sew the sleeves. Then I remove the top with that same matching thread. I'm going to sew the top of the sleeves to where we just marked. And I'm going to be sewing the edge that we sewed on the little sleeves against the top so that the rest of the sleeves look nice and clean, hiding where we sewed it against the top. Also keep in mind right now that the sleeves are turned right side out and the top is turned right side out. And remember, you only want the very top edge of the sleeve sewed together. You don't want to sew the whole thing together. And I go back and forth a few times just to make sure it's really secure. And then I tie a knot to hold everything in place on the inside of the top. And then I repeat that with the other sleeve. 
And now that we have the second sleeve completed, I'm going to slip the top onto the doll. Making sure to also put our hands through the sleeves to see this adorable top on the doll. Now there are a few other ways you can modify this top to give it a whole different kind of look. For this top, as you can see, I gave her long sleeves instead and didn't add the scrunch this time, but it's another really cute look. And I do feel like long sleeves definitely changes the whole vibe a lot. For this one, I also did make the actual top part a little bit shorter. It's probably about a, an inch wide. So you can always play around with the length of the top as well. Also, I just want to mention that I do have a tutorial on my channel for how to make this skirt. So I will link that because I feel like these two pieces look adorable together. And for this one, I used the scrunch method, but did it on the whole entire top to have a completely different look. And this also looks adorable. I also had this other idea where I just cut a little piece of embroidery floss. And I'm going to put that on the bottom of the front here. And then I knot the ends. And then I cut off the excess. To make it look like the top was scrunched together with these two little strings. And again, it's just a completely different look. As you can see, I didn't give any sleeves to this top. Of course, it would probably look adorable with sleeves as well. But I just really wanted to show that using this DIY method, you can really make so many different types of tops. By just making the simple tube top and scrunching it together or making sleeves to make it exactly how you want. So here are the three tops that I made in today's video, but like I mentioned earlier, there's really an endless possibility of how you make these tops. And I just wanted to give you guys a bit of inspiration today and hopefully you guys give one of these tops a try or just enjoyed watching the video in general. Also, because I am curious to know, make sure to comment down below which out of these three tops is your personal favorite. For me, I actually really like this white one. It was kind of a last minute idea I had. So I think I might have to say that one, but all of them are super cute. And now before we end today's video, the shout outs for today go to Leah Slimmert, Sophie Jones, and Zippos. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you had a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DDSquad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and because it really does support my channel. I really hope you give this DIY a try for yourself, and let me know in the comments how it goes. Anyways, I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye!